Okie doke, I hope this goes well. As soon as I got your information, it started messing up on me again. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we're in Montreal, 1963, October the 4th. And in less than 15 seconds, it will be 8.30 a.m. And you are definitely a Virgo. There's your sign in Virgo. Go ahead and X this box out. I'm, I'm lagging for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Uh, Venus is also in Virgo. Mercury is also in Virgo. Uranus is in Leo. Uh, Mars is in Libra which would actually be uh, the claws of the eagle in the old zodiac. Since I'm having trouble dragging it around, I'm going to talk to it this way. Saturn. Saturn is in Capricorn, where Saturn belongs, actually. Mm -hmm. But that's a that's a tough one to bite. I'm a Capricorn with Saturn and Capricorn, mm -hmm. almost in that exact same position. So I actually see your dedication to your work, because that's what that says. Is you are very dedicated to what you do. And let's find uh, Jupiter. Jupiter and Pisces, kind of where it belongs, being part of the Catholic Church and all. Jupiter is the god of that church, old Jove, whatever you want to call him. And uh, Neptune. Neptune is sitting with your Mars, so you have a Mars-Neptune conjunction in your chart. Neptune in the upper left-hand corner is where you'll find the names when I click on them and you see the little red dot around them. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can make it zoom in or not. I doubt it. Let's see if we can actually... I mean, that conjunction's dead on. Let me back up. Let's go find some more. Okay, we've seen Uranus is in Leo. Uh, let's find out where Pluto is. Uh, Pluto is also in Leo. You've got a lot going on right here. You have Uranus and then Pluto, and Mercury, the Sun, and Venus all here within 30 degrees of each other. That is um, really interesting. And of course, your uh, Saturn is directly opposite all of this right here. Yes, indeed. Almost opposite of your Uranus right there. One more. Your moon is in Jupiter as well. I meant with Jupiter in Pisces. Actually, I'm going to call your moon in Aries because it's under the first sign, which is the eye of the ram, which is very interesting <clears throat> because your moon is in a position of what you would call the first day in the um, Jewish calendar would be right there. See how far let us zoom in. Pretty far. There's your moon. And you can see that um, it's a full moon too. 
interesting chart you got going on there. Jupiter in Pisces and Saturn in Capricorn. You would think you would be well balanced instead of out of your mind. But I guess it's better to be out of your mind and in your heart. I'd rather be crazy like a horse than asleep like the sheep are. Let's go back to the sun. Because there's just no way around it. You're such a Virgo, it's unreal. That's what I keep telling everybody. Spring is not here yet. They've lied to us about where the calendar is because they've put us in all these astrology charts that are 6,000 years old. And it just don't make sense. So right here, you have Mars and the Moon conjunct. Your sun is sitting between Venus and Mercury. And you're a rising baby. So your sun's just come up over the ecliptic. And uh, you have what they call Venus rising. Uh, because uh, Pluto and Mars right here really... You can say in Libra, but so close to that Pluto and Virgo aspect that it's almost crazy. But my, my Pluto sits here as well. I'm just a couple of years behind you, and so I have the same Pluto and Libra issue as you do. Uh, it's these guys right here, the, the next generation that catch hell with that Pluto right there. I'm... So, uh, your Mercury, your communication is just all up in the head of the Virgin. And your love is in her left hand. It doesn't make sense to me. And not combust. She's very visible. Uh, why you have s so many issues in your life. I guess it's going to be the Saturn in Capricorn. And well, Mars and Libra don't help either. I, I'm going to have to look up that Mars-Moon conjunction in Libra. And that that's how you do it. You have a Mars-Moon conjunction in Libra. You have the Sun in Virgo, Venus in Virgo, Mercury in Virgo, Uranus and Pluto in Leo, uh, Jupiter and Pisces and Saturn and Aquarius. And here's your Pluto over here. You have a Pluto, not a Mars moon, a Mars-Pluto conjunction. And your moon is in Pisces with Jupiter and a full moon. That's probably what it is. You've got Jupiter in one fish. Let's go back over there because we still got time. Yeah, you got Jupiter in one fish and the moon in the other fish. And actually, almost in the head of C C Cetus here, which is a sea monster. But it's still over that star right there, which is the first sign in the sky. That's actually the translation of the name of the star. Let's take a quick look at everything. See if I can get this to cooperate for me. Let's take a look at an Arabic. Are you going to go away or are you just going to stay there? sun. <clears throat> uh, Venus almost completely in that left hand. And this one, the way this looks, I would call your Mercury uh, in Leo at this point. If you count this star right here as the beginning of Virgo, then your Mercury is in Leo. So you should have the voice of a lion, but you're talking out his ass. But don't worry about that, because they're fixing to flip all of these. They're in the process of doing it now. Uh, I 
bring your attention to the rotunda in the Capitol building in the United States. They've been working on it since about, I don't know, 28, 9, 10, somewhere in there. They've not let anybody see it yet, but I already know they're turning the animals around. And as you can see, there is no scales here. They just kind of extend this Mars. So your Pluto and your Mars, um, and in the old one, the scorpion was an eagle, and this was its claws, and it had this serpent right here went through these claws. So um, you're in the balance. I call it the pit that Julius Caesar drug, dug. And let's go back around to... Saturn. Clearly in the goat. And Jupiter. And the moon's not quite in the head, but still over that first star. That you you just can't get past that the first sign. See? The first sign. I don't know what they're going to call this one. A butter. But you got some good positions. And the little star that you call, I've done it before, I wish I could find it. 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. Let me look around. I forget where it is. First lucky star of the excellent one. Second lucky star of the high-minded man. What you want to bet that one's it. Right now I'm doing it in Arabic, so I'm actually getting real names. I know all the lucky stars are generally over here in Aquarius. I didn't know that Pegasus was full of them too. flank first lucky star of the rain and there you can blame it on the rain the great horse shoulder I had no idea that Pegasus had this many names within it usually they'll give you one or two of the prominent stars and hide all the rest what's in your eye I remember going through here before, the first lucky star of the livestock. And what's this mean little thing down here? The second frog. See, I didn't even know that was considered a frog. Learn something new every day. Okay, friend, 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 happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry this is late. And you don't have to trip out, because you are not a Libra by any stretch of the means, not even close. Not even close. Here, let's, uh, got a minute or two, let's kick up today's date, so you can see that the sun's about in the same position it did today as it was 20 years ago. Yeah, give me the time. Okay, and let's oh let's don't do this the hard way. Delete. See, it's about where it is. What is today's date? The 8th. 